So a completely different setup right here. Um, normally I would just be on my couch. Like that's the best I could offer you before. Now I have a fully functional recording studio set up for things such as intros, amazing. Um, I have been wanting a recording studio for a while now, just somewhere I could dedicate solely to like my music and YouTube and all that kind of stuff without having to like put things away after having them set up just the way I want them and oh, the frustration. So I finally just took the time out to set this fully up completely gave up on having this closet. I really did like having this closet. It was a nice setup, but it got cluttered really easily. And when it came down to it, it was like, what's important to you? Music, recording, YouTube, had to do it. So this was pretty simple of a DIY, like pretty straightforward. I mean, it took time, but nothing was very difficult like you don't have to have any special skills in order to accomplish this um so if you guys are interested in figuring out how i did it um and maybe potentially seeing how you could do it for yourself or if you just want to watch me like put together recording studio in my closet then feel free to keep watching so let's just jump right into it because i don't want to make this longer than it has to be Okay, so right off the bat, I'm just gonna put it out there. The closet was a mess. When we started, it was a mess. It was cluttered, mostly my fault, but you know, he had a couple of things. It was mostly my fault. Anywho, so I started right off by completely emptying it out. Um, clothes just went underneath the bed. I just got a bunch of under the bed storage bin thingies and put them all in there just so we can get those out of the way um as far as like supplies like i had like some sewing supplies i had instruments i had like uh, a stand i just took advantage of all the space underneath of um surfaces like my dresser and my couches and everything like that i just everything has something underneath of it but hey that's how you use up your storage so i started off by completely gutting the thing like every last thing came out that took honestly like three days, I swear, like just getting everything away so it didn't look like a bomb. But eventually we got it done. We got it finished and it was emptied out. So of course, after years and years of like this being used as a closet, it accumulated a bunch of dust. So I gave it a good vacuuming. Um, there was like some weird stuff stuck on the wall, so I honestly didn't even want to touch it. I just vacuumed it up and it came off. It was like kind of just like quieted on there. Anyway, gave the whole room a good vacuuming and then off camera, Dan actually measured the width and the length of the closet just so I could get an idea of what would fit in there. So I just thought, oh, like I can put down carpet, you know, it'll absorb some of the echo because that's kind of the goal here. This is not a soundproof recording studio. So anywho, I put down carpet to get rid of some of the echo. Um, however, my measurements were off. I got these like carpet squares, the sample kind from like Lowe's, ordered like 15 of them. And in my mind, with my measurements, that was like the perfect amount. Like, I was like, oh, I'm going to have some to make a design and everything and everything and everything. Two plus two is four. Right. And five plus five is ten. Okay. What the fuck is this? Um, but Dan is a sweetheart. He helped me go to Home Depot and actually purchase a quality carpet. It worked so well because it was able to cover the floor the door and the ceiling, which I was not expecting to do all that. So that was really, really great. And it only ended up costing about 20 bucks for the whole thing. Dan put it down on the floor and on the door for me. And then I, yes, I decided that I alone could defeat gravity and put it on the ceiling. She's, she's okay. She looks cute. She's, um, She's functional. And at this point, it is time to jump onto the walls. 
the most frustrating part of this entire process was putting these foam squares on the walls. For you guys who don't know, the foam squares are intended to also absorb echo, okay? We're trying to absorb all the echo that would come from, like, you singing and your sound waves, like, hitting against the surfaces around you. We're trying to eliminate as much of it as possible, and that's how you get that clean, clean recording studio sound. I ordered a bunch of them. I got, like, a 50-pack, and then my dad gave me a few of his that he had left over because he's also a music man. I think I ended up putting these up like three different times. I lost my patience and stabbed them into the wall with T-pins. You could probably also nail gun them or staple gun them or something, but I was going for something a little more temporary. So these T-pins seem to work. I've also seen other people use the command strips, but honestly, after my struggle with tape and adhesive, I was kind of done trying. But you can give it a go if you want. I just went with T-pins. They're really not that bad. If you do them on an angle like I ended up doing, they don't like stick out and protrude a lot. So you're not going to run into them. But if you want like that really clean, like there's nothing sticking out of it, maybe try the command hook adhesive type things. For a first time, I, I, I'm pretty proud of my work. But yeah, so eventually once I started stabbing it, everything flew by. Um, I did the big areas first and then I cut smaller pieces to go in the corners and on the edges where uh, I needed smaller pieces. After I finished that, everything was so easy. Like at that point, you're just decorating and adding any supplies that you think you'll need. So for me, um, I added, of course, um, my stand, my laptop stand. I ergonomic mouse and a mouse pad a desktop um, mic stand so that if I'm doing like voiceovers or anything like that um, I can sit at my desk and do it really comfortably and have it right there at my mouth um, but then I also put one up top on the shelf that we have um, just so if I want to stand up and sing so I can get that good support um, I can do that as well and then for electric city as most people probably don't have an outlet in their closet i just ordered a super long it was 25 feet um extension cable and then of course i have my focus right um interface in here which i'm using currently to record this for you guys i put a command hook on the side of the desk um and i just hang my headphones there they have the really cool looking like LED headphone stands that you can get and if you like that kind of stuff go for it But for me, I kept it simple because I didn't want to take up more of the desk space than I needed because it's not a huge space That's everything I put in here and I absolutely adore it. It's so great to have a space to go to when I just need to concentrate or I need to edit or record and I don't have to put anything away. I can keep it set up even if I don't finish and I want to come back to it later. It's there, it's ready to go and the motivation that it gives me at the end of the day is insane. Like I feel like I always want to do something in here because I, it's not like back breaking labor just to get it started. Like it's already ready to go for me. I would say that this is with below $100. A lot of this equipment you probably already have. Um, the only thing were the foams, which were, it was like a pack of 50 and I think I paid 30 something for it. Totally affordable. You just have to find the motivation and the dedication and the space. Sometimes you got to give up things for other things, but it's worth it. It's so worth it, guys. So I hope this video was helpful. I hope it was motivational, if nothing else, to push you to do that thing that you've been pushing off this whole time. Uh-huh. Yeah, you. 
No, but you guys are amazing. Thanks so much for watching, anyone who does. <laughs> and uh, let me know down below if this video was helpful at all, um, or if there's something else I could do to be a little more informative, or any suggestions you have for me. Also, if you did like the video, if you could leave me a thumbs up, that's pretty awesome. Um, and if you want to see more videos like this or like my vlog style, just go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and tick that notification bell so then we'll let you know the next time I post. So guys, thanks again for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye!